Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. <laughs> Gets after every time, doesn't it? Um, I had hoped to do this video yesterday, but to be really honest with you, I was so tired. Um, you know, I went up to London on Wednesday and, uh, well, I went up Tuesday and stayed at my daughter's and then Wednesday I went and had a haircut, so I had a bit taken off and um, then drove from there up to my friend Munir and Corinne um, to try on the jewellery collection, which is fabulous and that'll be coming up really soon. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of pair that with the clothes that I'm wearing on the cruise and kind of do a last sweep up of all of all of that. But today's video, the main focus is um, my visit to Bravissimo, which I did after the jewellers. I was so exhausted yesterday, I can't tell you, it was pathetic really. I did go to table tennis and badminton with my friend because I thought if I don't do that, I'm just going to kind of start opting out at every excuse. But I was a bit like a wet lettuce, but, you know, I showed up, which is like I said to her, I'm just showing up, really. So, um, yeah, so I went along to Bravissimo. I had an appointment. It's best to make an appointment, I think, because um, they, you know, they, they kind of devote that time to you then. Although I do believe you can do it over Zoom as well. And um, I'll tell you what they do. So, first of all, just went into the store. I went to the one at Westfield, London, and... Um, went upstairs and uh, uh, what's the name, Holly, who's the manager of the store, took me into a fitting room and, you know, had a little chat and said, um, do you mind, you know, taking your top off so that I can see the bra that you're wearing? And I kind of, I mean, I would say wear separates, you know, because you don't really want to stand there just in your knickknacks. And um, so she looked at the bra I was wearing and kind of assessed it. And then they don't measure you. They do it all by sight and fit. And, uh, you know, the reason for that becomes quite clear, really. And I'll explain. So she looked at my bra, said, yeah, that's a pretty good fit. What size is it? What make is it? And then they know how those brands compare with others. Then she asked me, what was I looking for? And I said, a strapless bra is my kind of main aim for being here. And then a couple of other options as well. So we, she went out of the fitting room and, you know, they're very polite. They kind of knock every time they want to come in and stuff. I mean, in the end, you know, like she's seen 8 million boobs. I'm sure mine are nothing weird or wonderful. At least I hope not. <laughs> um, so she went out and, and brought in several black bras. We started off with black, black underwide bras because uh, underwide, they're all underwide, but strapless. Um, to see how they would work for me. And, uh, you know, it's quite surprising, actually, how they can vary so much. So the first one I tried on was fitted really well. It held me up well. But when I put my arms down, the kind of flob over the top of my bra kind of sat on top of the... Because obviously, you know, they've got have some structure to them. So they've got like a... An under, not an underwiring, what should they call it? <clears throat> well, they would have called them bones in the old days. <laughs> Can't think what they're called now. I've used them before as well in dressmaking. But anyway, you know, the stiffener, stiffener. And so when I put my arms down, oh, I was like, oh no, I couldn't bear that. So we tried another couple and she was so helpful. She would have honestly, I mean, in the end, I think she must have shown me about 50 bras in total by the end of the session. And I must have tried on about 20, which so you can imagine it was quite exhausting. So anyway, we kept trying them and going back and trying them and, and I found one. So then I said what I was looking for then was a multi-way. So she said, well, that is actually a multi-way. You know, it's got the straps, you can wear it however you want. Sorry, it's really early in the morning, I've got a cup of tea. So, I said, okay, then let's let's look at what else you've got. So I said, um, I think I mentioned before about when I went to Rigby and Pella for my eldest daughter's wedding and they said, 
you know, the most invisible bra is the one that's nearest the colour of your skin. And um, I'm glad to say that my skin is not actually Bridget Jones knickers colour. So she said, you know, we'll go more for the cinnamon tones. So we did that. And um, you know what? I can't even remember the third bra that I bought because I think I was just so exhausted because I drove home after that through the London traffic. It was raining by then. It was dark. It took me best part of two hours to get home. I was just so exhausted. I mean, I just don't do that stuff anymore, really. I mean, my youngest daughter that works at Westfield, she... Um, Oh, you know, I mean, she's just so full of beans. It's ridiculous, but that's youth for you. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I, when I've done bras before, which I haven't kind of been doing to promote the bras, really. I've just been kind of showing you stuff. People have said, oh, can you show them off camera before you put them on? So what I'm going to do is show you them off camera. And then I've got a very fine knit white t-shirt, thin t-shirt, and I'm going to put them on under there and kind of show you as much as I can. Because, you know, I do get approaches from a few weirdos and I don't want to justify that behaviour. Because, yeah, I just don't. Um, but before I do all of that, I'm just going to kind of hold hold the bravissimo thought there. And uh, I was on the um, uh, Georgia Asda site the other day and um, a lot of people have asked me about swimwear and I do wear two pieces I hate calling them bikinis I mean they've got as much fabric in as a swimsuit and um, more if you're a smaller size and I usually I bought loads of the fantasy and they are my they are my absolute go-to for all of that stuff and um I got them in the outlet page on the fantasy site but I was I was on the George website and I saw these and I have bought sim swimwear in George before and if you're looking for a more low cost option I mean, honestly, when I got this out of the packet, I was like, really? I mean, the size bit, cheapest creepers, but it's, you know, it's a fully molded one. But anyway, it fits lovely. It holds them up. It's got straps, but you know, I like to take the straps down for sunbathing. This one was the 38E because they didn't have a 36 double F in stock. They were in low stock, but they might get more in or they might have them in the store. And this one, so the top was just £10. So, I mean, that's very reasonable. I mean, oh my goodness, I could... Oh, well, I suppose when I pack, I could put about eight pairs of Rob's socks in there. And then the pants, again, ginormous, but, you know... So, and they were £6.50. So for £16.50, I've got a two-piece that looked actually really nice on. So, you know, that the, it comes right up to my waist. So it's just that bit, and it's just so much easier, you know, for going to the bathroom or anything. So I just wanted to quickly show you that. So what I will do now, so, um, bravissimo. I used to go there years ago, um, but... There isn't a store locally to me now. And and kind of, I learnt my bra size from them. Most ladies are accommodating their fuller breast with a wider band and a smaller cup. You need to have exactly, I mean, you know, I'm a big girl and I'm a 36 um, band size, which, you know, isn't that big really. I mean, you know, there's plenty of much smaller women, but my actual rib cage is, is just not that big and I don't have a broad back. So, you know, it's all in the cup size. So at least I didn't go bigger. But I, I mean, I don't know, what is this thing? I mean, the girl that was serving me, she said, I think it's Oti Mabusi who I bought one of her bras. She's done a collaboration with them, designed the range. I think she said she was a 34 double J. So, I mean, they do look looking enormous, but I'm getting them out now. So, what I was going to say, so we settled on the black strapless and then when she was out of the changing room, I thought I was trying to wrap my brains to think what I actually needed it for. And I said, oh, actually, it's a pink. It sounds ridiculous, but it's really pretty. And I will show you a pink dress. And so the black bra is not going to work with it because it's kind of mesh and it's just got, you know, the bodice underneath. And I don't really want a strap showing. So she came back in with this one. 
I mean, again, it, cheesy macaroni. I mean, you could fit twins in this. <laughs> oh, good Lord. I don't know why I'm doing that. Stupid woman. So you can see it's there and it's got two options for the straps, both there and there. And um, this one is a 36G for Gorgeous. And it was £43. They did gift me these because when I said what I was doing, they said, oh, you know, that's lovely. What would you like? And, and we'll give them to you for nothing. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to get on doing this up because it is for hooks and eyes. But obviously, you know, it's got quite a lot to support in there. So I will try that one on in a second. That's a Freya, Freya make. Then I got this one, which is Elomi. And I will link them. And this one is a 36 double F. And I love this one. I mean, I just love it. See, it's got all this going on. There was a couple like that. And I think, you know, if you're wearing a blouse or something, and you, know, you don't want to be overtly sexual. I mean, nobody's, well, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not looking for anything. Um, but I, you know, it's quite nice, I think, if you're going to see a little bit of bra, just to see that. See, I mean, I said to her, in black, it would look a bit bondagey, which, you know, I'm not really into, but whatever floats your boat. Um, and that one, yeah, £42, that's 36 double F, and I will try that on too. And then the final one was kind of the cinnamon one. And oh, this is the Otimabusi um, collaboration. And this is a 36G, and that's G. And that is um, £38. And that's got a bit of the old sexiness going on as well. And it's got this lovely kind of satin edge and it's so comfortable really really comfortable so they the three I got I mean it's like kind of all blend don't they really but really nice I think really good fun so um yeah to see the way the lace is kind of you know really soft really lovely and it was a really pleasant experience you know nothing was too much trouble um, she brought in, I, when I said colourful, she brought in some bras that just were not my cup of tea in colours at all. They were like lime green and burgundy and stuff. They're not, they're not my bag. And so um, I discounted those and got these, which I am delighted with. So I will stop the camera and I'll pop on the strapless with, the, well, wish me luck because I might pull my arm out of my socket. But uh, I'll do my best. <laughs> I could always go shopping with it if it doesn't work for anything else. So I'll do that now. The first one. I mean, I do look a bit like I've got Popeye under there, don't I? Do you know what I mean? That kind of like two two uh, babies' heads. But I mean, you know, it's it's a good good support, and it's uh, comfortable. It's holding them up well. I mean, what she did say is, you know. If you don't think your whole sort of breast is in the cup, go forward and pull the underwires up. Gosh, right. Well, I'm, in, I'm attracting all the what's-its now, aren't I? But anyway, and it's, um, I mean, I've got the label still on it, and I could probably tidy it up a bit, but, you know, as in smooth out the strap and that, but <sighs> I've got the energy. So I hope you can see that it, you know, The wires are going right in. That's really important that it should hit your breastbone in there to separate you. Otherwise, you just end up with a shell. So that's um, the strapless bra. And uh, when I show you the dress I plan to wear it with, obviously, I will put this on with it. And uh, we can go from there. So I was pretty impressed with that. I was talking to a friend and she said she'd paid over £100 for a strapless bra. Well, that's never gonna happen in my life because to be honest, you know, I only need it once in a blue moon. And this does feel comfortable. I haven't sat down in it, which afterwards I thought I should have sat down. Oh, no, that's fine as well. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that actually. 
And the very last thing you want is any overspill. You know, that just looks horrific when you've got like four boobs. So, um, yeah, I hope you can see that well enough. I think you can, and that's as good as you're gonna get. So I, what I would say is, if you can possibly get to a store, go to a store, or else they will probably do it on Zoom. What, what I would imagine they do is then send you a whole selection, try them on and send them back. I mean, she was ever so helpful in as much as she said, um, if there's something that you like in another, and we do it in another colour, we can order it and you'll have it next day delivery. So, chuffed, that's number one. So what will I do next? I'll do, do this one next and um, see how I can show you that. This is number two. And, oh, it's so comfortable. Honestly, I could just leave this on now. And see, it's got this going on. I'm going to give you one quick flash, okay? Ready? Nice, isn't it? I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, like, even if you're not wearing something where that shows, it's just quite nice to feel like it's nice, isn't it? I think it's really lovely and lovely in the summer. And you know what I was saying before about um, dresses that show a bit of bra? Like, make it interesting, you know? Like, so if you show a bit of strap, it's just really so nice. I like, you know, I mean, it's, I do look a lot smaller in this bra than I did in the last one, but you know, that's because it's got the big firm cups to hold you up. So I love it and um, I'm delighted with it. You know, I mean, they, they said they would give me three bras. I'm not, I'm not earning any commission or anything like this from this. Um, but I nearly bought four because I nearly bought a fourth one because I was I got a bit carried away to be honest and I thought Helen you don't, you know nobody needs to buy four bras in one go, but um, after having had such a, such a successful time there I would definitely um, look again at what they've got and what I would say and this is just like a favour if you do um, end up talking to them ordering them can you mention that you you kind of saw it through me just so that they know that this was worth their investment really I like, don't have to but you know it'd be nice so ready one last flash I feel like um what was her name Denise well she used to show her boobs all the time didn't she I think it's lovely it's really early it's only like 10 past 8 in the morning so I'm trying to get this done before I go out so um good lord right third one and the third and final one and this is the one um, <coughs> that's from the Otimabusi range. And again, this one is a real plunge, like the bra is there. So really low, but it's got the, um, I've got to show you again. I mean, I'll sort it, I'll just, um, I'll just send them off with a flea in their ear. So you can see it's so pretty, this satin. This reminds me, you know, in the war, they had to make their underwear out of um, silk parachutes. It kind of reminds me, you know, this sort of silky bit reminds me of that. But it's a lovely colour. And you can see that when I've got a bit more of a tan, that will be like my nude. Well, I mean, I won't be that, I won't be orange. But yeah, it's sort of unusual because it kind of goes all the way up here. So it's not kind of here in a strap. It goes all the way up here and then it's got that that going up so i think that's rather lovely so that's the three bras ladies so, ow oh oh sorry ow i just ran my knee into a plug oh oh didn't swear though did i that's good so that's the three bras from bravissimo um i highly recommend them and um yeah, I hope I hope if you go down the same road. Oh look, what's this? Bra Bravelous points. Oh okay. So they do. You can do live chat um, or pop in one of the stores. And I know that when I said I couldn't really get to a store, they did say that I could do it on the phone. So um, and that's they've given me all the details there. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. 
and um, I've got, oh my goodness, they've really stacked up now what I need to do. Um, I've got, um, oh, I've, I've got a lovely um, M&S spring haul, spring clothes. I've got Matalan and I have got, what else have I got? Oh, I don't know, so much. So I'll be bringing that all to you shortly. I'm hoping to visit mum in a couple of weeks and try to do another little chat with her. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.